What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and today I'm going to be talking about Janet Cage, the new cameo in Mortal Kombat 1 that nobody wanted. And let me get into everything about this character. First things first, I want to mention I am recording this video on PC. I know some people get confused when they see, like, the keyboard input sometimes, and I'm just pointing that out that I'm recording on PC. It makes recording videos easier to do it on the PC. So... Yeah, just wanted to mention that. Let's get into this. There's so many things I could say about this assist, and I don't know how far this is going to go, me talking about the assist, but it's probably going to turn into a rant because this assist being released is so annoying, and I'm going to talk about that. Why? But I'll take a quick second to go over the assist. First of all, is it a good assist? Let's get this out of the way right now. It's obviously dumb. You have Sonya, the Sonya assist built in on one, you have a minus six nut punch move on block, and if it hits, it restands. So this is this is the two things you have base. So you have that. So this one is it's like a Sonya move, but you have a close one and a far one. And then you have the nut punch. And then you have this move right here, which gives you a hit of armor. They hit it, you have a hit of armor. So just base, it's a pretty solid assist like i want to say base it's like an a tier assist with all that stuff alone and it works very well with ashra ashra can do stuff like that wait matter of fact it works perfect with her she can do all her moves into it you know her flipping shenanigans into it if you work well with sonya you're gonna work with this assist that's just how it is so Another thing, discounting all those three things about the assist, you have this form right here, which is literally Sento. It's like a better version, if not equal version to Sento. And if you enjoyed Sento, you're going to really enjoy this. If you loved Kenshi, you are going to love this assist. And as simple as that, you are going to absolutely love this assist. You can do... Like the same type of Sento stuff with it. You want to knock them down and sandwich them. And then you can make them guess. You can move the assist if you block. And if you hold, you know, R1, you can move yourself and then have the assist attack for you. So something like that. Stuff like that right there. And the assist is good. Like I said, I'm saying this multiple times so people don't get it twisted. I'm not saying the assist is bad. It's potentially probably the best assist in the game already, if not, you know, tied with the other dumb ones. If It's definitely looking like it's an S-tier assist right away. But here comes the problem with it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, nobody wanted an assist like this. Keep in mind Kenchi. You see Kenchi right here. Kenchi has been one of the best characters in the game since this game has launched everybody and their mother has been complaining about kenshi everybody could not stand kenshi and they whined and complained about him even though i feel like until the most recent patch the best character was johnny this whole life cycle a lot of people can still debate it was kenshi and even now with johnny getting nerfed and kenshi he got nerfed but they weren't that bad and you know, Raiden getting nerfed and all these characters, you could still like argue that Kenshi is still the best character in the game. Everyone hated Kenshi or hates, if you want to still use that. They can't stand Kenshi because of Sento. So what does NRS do? What does NRS do? They nerf Sento. Okay, good. People are gonna stop complaining about Sento, right? Then they nerf him. You can hit him now. Okay, Kenshi's gonna be dumb still, but at least they're doing something. So what does this company decide to do? See, this is what irritates me so much because other fighting game companies, not companies, other fighting game communities, even though a lot of them are just as bad as NRS, they act like the NRS is so community is so toxic. All they do is complain. We'll never be happy no matter what. We are literally dealing with de devs and a company that just flat out does not listen and is so out of touch. If everybody has been complaining about Sento since the game came out, why would you put an assist in the game that's basically Sento again? That makes no sense. That is so counterintuitive. It makes no sense. 
why would you give everybody in the game access to Sento when everyone since the game has came out been complaining about that one thing, Sento? That's been the main thing that people have been whining about on Kenshi. Oh, Kenshi's too strong. He's the best. Everybody's been saying Kenshi's stupid. But yeah, we know that. We're going to nerf him. We're smart enough to where, yes, we're going to eventually nerf him. Boom, they nerf him. And let's give everybody Sento. How does that make sense? I literally want to go in there. I don't care. With their headquarters or something and sit down with the person making these stupid decisions and literally be like, what were you thinking? I don't care if this assist is good. I don't care if you like the assist. And I don't even care if I end up liking the assist. But this was something nobody wanted. Doesn't matter if it's good or not. Because if you want to sit here and argue back and forth about it, because like people always like to do, they like to play advocate, argue for about stuff when there's no reason. One thing you cannot take away is people do not like Kenshi. And Kenshi has been one of the dumbest characters in this game. So for them to take what makes Kenshi, Kenshi so strong and put it on everybody is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. What do they want this game to be? I don't understand. So, let me calm down now. Because this crap is just so annoying. I've never wanted a freaking company to win so bad, but they just make the dumbest decisions. Why would you do this? Like, literally everybody has this. Now, okay, calm down again. Look at all of these moves. Look at all these moves. This is another problem with the assists that have been coming out in the game. The assist, this assist has dang near more moves than some characters. Nobody wants to learn a whole character dang near for an assist. Tremor, Chameleon, and Janet Cage have all been assists that are flooded. They are flooded assists. And Tremor is not that good. Chameleon is a random assist. And then you put this assist in the game it, that is potentially really dumb and really good which like i said that ain't the problem it's the fact that you finally toned down one of the characters people have been complaining about the most now everybody's going to be able to do what kenshi did everyone so this assist can potentially make this game a hot mess which i'm guessing it's going to do now the good thing about kenshi is nobody wanted to a lot of people didn't want to put in the work to play kenshi I'm, I was one of those people that went out of my way to learn Kenshi myself, and I did not personally stick to the character. The character's not my style. I thought I would like the character. I completely learned the character, and I could tell, like, yeah, this character's dumb, but a lot of people aren't going to stick to this character. Even me, I didn't stick to the character, even though I learned him completely, but not because I couldn't play him. He just wasn't my style. But there's a lot of people who, even though they complained about Kenshi, Kenshi is not an accessible character. So... I was fine with him being the best. And even if he is the best now, I'm fine with that because he's not an accessible character. Somebody's got to be the best. And I'd rather it be someone that's not accessible. So they took what made him or what makes him, if you still think he's the best, and gave it to everybody. That's just not a smart decision. I don't care what people have to say about that because I know there's going to be somebody arguing this tooth and nail. It does not matter if you like this assist. It does not matter if you don't like this assist. The fact is that it was not smart to put this assist in the game. That's like them putting, what is the move people, the storm cell move on Raiden. People can't stand that move. Everyone's been complaining about that move since it came out. So what did they do? Rightfully, they nerfed it. Now imagine if Janet Cage came with storm cell. That's basically what they did. They took something that people couldn't stand and gave it to everybody so this game is potentially going to be a hot mess this could potentially really mess up this game if people are willing to put the work in because this is obviously dumb like being able to, to do all of this and just sandwich them and they, they got to keep guessing it's going to be crazy now is it going to be interesting to watch play out honestly it could be but my problem with them is instead of NRS, instead of buffing the multiple, multiple assists that are bad in the game that we need, we need a bunch of these assists buffed, they keep coming out with these DLC assists and putting everything on the DLC assists. 
These DLC assists are like three assists in one. They're overcomplicated for no reason. This alone could have been this assist. The down R1 alone could have been this assist. And then when you go into this, it has like eight moves. So another thing, people but probably will complain, well, oh, you're complaining that something has too much, you know, you want something scrubby and easy. No, nobody's saying that, but not every assist needs to be bloated. Trimmer is bloated. Chameleon is bloated. And Janet is bloated. All the three DLC assists to come out have been bloated. And what all these assists that need changes, all these assists that need buffs so people can just stop using freaking striker, Lau, and sub all day. Maybe if they actually buff some other assists, like I've been saying for months, then they wouldn't feel the need to bloat their assist and hopefully and hope people will take to those assists and stop complaining. So Oof, this is just so irritating because NRS literally just doesn't listen. They don't listen to the community. They don't care what everybody has to say because they're rich and they know people are going to whine but still play their game anyway. But at the end of the day, it's still annoying because they, you know, pretend to get have these people on here and act like they care and all this, that, and the other. But this assist literally shows me how much they just have not been listening. Like, and it just, for the third time, it doesn't make any sense. Why? Why would you put an assist in the game that replicates a character that people couldn't stand and you just nerfed? It actually doesn't make any sense. So, back to the point I'm trying to make. I'm just tired of these assists that are coming out. The thing that we need in this game is more ambush assists if they don't want to buff the other assists give us more ambush assists that's it y'all don't have to bloat these assists just give us some more cool ambush assists like chameleon was a hit people like chameleon but she's still a random assist that assist is good if you want to just play around with your buddies or just have some fun and casual matches online and it's still good you know a top tier assist potentially the best but the fact that it has a random factor, will it will never be 100% viable Like when it comes to all players because some people are not going to be able to deal with that random, you know, randomness with it. Even in tournament, I've seen plenty of people lose rounds because they couldn't get the spin on the assist they wanted. And that's a lot of nuance that's going to mess with a lot of players and can mess with your matches. That's why I don't use the assist. I don't want nuance. I want as... Little as nuance as possible when I'm playing. That's why I don't use Chameleon. And I know that's why a lot of people don't use Chameleon because there's no reason not to use Chameleon. <laughs> like, everyone should use her if you just care about how good the assist is. But because it's random, it kind of ruins it. Now, we have an overcomplicated... So, Tremor is overcomplicated. Chameleon is random. And now we have another assist that's overcomplicated that a lot of people are just not going to like. And then some people, I, I'm bringing up all the points here because I know some, some people are going to come to the comments and make stupid statements. This is another statement I'm going to make is, well, you're saying people, you know, are going to be using it and it might mess up the game. But you also say, could be saying a lot of people aren't going to be using it because it's hard. The fact of the matter is this isn't a random assist. Even if this assist is going to be hard to learn, the pressing down on it, it's still going to be used by a lot of people if they can get it down it's not like you're you already know your character you're learning an assist it's not like kenshi where you gotta like kenshi and like using sento if you get what i'm trying to say so to sum it up am i like really really upset that this assist is out i'm not angry with it per se like i'm not just furious with the assist like the assist is whatever if this would have came out like you know three assists down the line okay but like am i irritated that they just won't listen and just buff some other assist or give us some more ambush assist instead of bloating the assists that are coming out yes it's very irritating because it's not hard to listen to your community it's not hard to listen like 
and I don't understand why they make it so difficult. And everybody looks at the NRS community like, oh, they're just a big bunch of crybabies and this, that, and the other. All the other communities look at the NRS community like that. No, that's not the case. See, our devs don't listen. In this game, our devs don't listen. Y'all devs listen. Street Fighter devs, Tekken devs, you know, they, they'll literally go back and forth with people on Twitter and everything. They'll listen. Besides, well, not Street Fighter. Street Fighter is different. I'll leave that one out. That'll probably be a whole nother video. But the fact of the matter is, you know what you're getting when you play those type of games. And with NRS games, we don't know what we're going to get. We don't know if they're going to listen. We don't know what they're going to put in the game. They don't take any criticism. They just do what the heck they want. And then, you know, everybody, when everybody gets irritated, they want to just be like, whoa, well, you know, whatever. And then when the community is mad, everybody's like, oh, the NRS community is doing this. No, 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 that's not the case at all. We're just not being listened to. It's simple as that. Because any dev worth their salt making this character would know not to put this kind of assist in the game after all the recent outrage about Kenshi and just freshly nerfing the character. So I don't want this video to be too long. Like I said, I'm going to stop it here because... Enough's enough. Like it, they're just so annoying, man. They actually are so annoying because there was no reason to release this assist. And yes, I did know this assist was coming out, but we didn't know how good it was going to be. That's why I didn't make a video on it before. And I am interested to see what people do with this assist, but I just know that this is not going to end well. This assist, I know it's not. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Nick Ops out. Oh, NRS is annoying. <laughs> Nick Ops out <laughs> for real this time.